talked a little bit about what pre-training is versus fine-tuning and then where there's an opportunity for people to get their models to do more specific tasks. Yeah, so, so you make an excellent point, right? So we talked about uh, security and privacy and things like that, but fine-tuning for very specific tasks, this also becomes easier and easier. So we generally have, it's rather black and white because technology changes and things change, but there's a two-way approach to creating these large language models. And the first step is pre-training. And that typically is the most costly process where we have billions of documents that we just throw at the large language model and say, okay, learn to predict the next word and that's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. And in a way, it's in order to quote unquote, understand these documents and understand language and understand reasoning, understand the way people talk, all those types of things. So to get a basic foundation of the world. So to say, gotcha. or the, and this is really expensive trip. to do. Yeah, really, really expensive. That's where most of the money goes into. And when you have that base model, typically it, it really can't do much more than just predict the next word. So it doesn't have to be a conversational model yet because it might not have been trained as such. And then fine tuning involves it training it to a very specific task, but the task can also be conversation to make sure whenever I ask a question, the model gives an answer that I'm satisfied with. And there are many tricks to make sure that process works well, but that's a task. And after, have you, after you have done that, you have your conversational model that people generally use. Those are the instruct models or the chat models. And then you can even do another round of fine tuning after that with very specific domain data, because there's a lot of data that's not available to entities like OpenAI or Anthropic or what have you. For me, for example, I work in a cancer research institute. We have a lot of very specific domain data that many of these models struggle with. To answer your question, open models allows us to then fine tune these models on that very specific data. We know that the data is not going to end up in strange places. We have control over it and we have our own model that has you know, learn some of this domain knowledge and can reason a little bit better about our specific domain.